Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna talk about Disney. We're gonna talk about the live action Bambi movie and we're gonna talk about how it is apparently the fault of conservatives that Disney is going to ruin another beloved animated classic. Uh, hold on to your, your horses or your deer. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. This is so stupid, but uh, it is what it is. It's current year Disney, right? Of course it's stupid. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Oh wait, she's not here. No, Geeky's sitting this one out. So woohoo, woohoo. No, she did not get shot. Don't worry, uh, she's fine. Everything's good. Uh, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about live action Bambi. And this is actually something that bothers her, so I thought I'd go ahead and do the video anyway, because you know, I, she she was traumatized by Bambi when she was a kid, and I've, I've heard about it uh, several times. A lot of kids were traumatized by Bambi. That was kind of part of the point of the story, you know, <laughs> was Bambi was kind of traumatic, coming of age, you know, whatever. Um, but apparently, uh, uh, Bambi's mother getting shot is too traumatic for kids' current year. And uh, Forbes, weirdly enough, Forbes. Remember Forbes, who uh, they were called alt right like last week. Well, this week now they're they're calling out conservatives. So I guess it just it just depends on the week, right? New Bambi causes conservatives to cry woke because remake may go easier on Bambi's mom. That is a headline. According to Forbes, an upcoming live action remake of Disney's 1942 animated classic Bambi will be updated to appeal to modern audiences. But a mere suggestion that the movie might back off from its famously sad scene, the death of Bambi's mom, has caused right-wing critics to pounce out of fear the movie will be woke. What? So here are the, here are the key facts. Uh, the screenwriter told Collider not to spoil the plot, but there's a treatment of the mom dying. I think that some kids, some parents these days are more sensitive about than they were in the past. That's true. I mean, I know a lot of people are traumatized by Bambi. Actually, the forest fire freaked me out more. Spoiler, spoiler, there's a forest fire. Um, they suggested the writers wanted to, make, to remake it in a way that kids today could relate to a little bit more. Bambi plays Fortnite and spends a lot of time on his I, iPad. Uh, saying some audiences may not be able to handle the death of Bambi's mom. The comments gained traction among right-wing media commentators and social media users with some criticizing the film from being remade to appeal to woke audiences. Again, this is just another example. Like, look, I don't give it. It's going to be, it's going to be shit, right? It, it, the movie's going to be shit. It's a, it, it, it is. It absolutely is. 99% of the live action Disney movies have been shit. The thing is, is when you fundamentally break the movie, like this was a major plot point in the movie. Same with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, not the diverse bandits, okay? When you fundamentally break the movie, it's no longer the movie. When you break Bambi, it's no longer Bambi. And again, these, it's interesting that most of the big changes are occurring with the first five movies. Okay, the first five movies, the first five Disney movies, animated movies are held in incredibly high regard. That's what the company was built on, Okay. And to, to like basically go in and deface those movies is just like, what are you doing? Conservative critics have condemned a wide swath of brands, celebrities, and films as woke this year, typically because of themes or activism that supports the LGBT community or diversity, not, not limited to just that. And uh, <sighs> it's when they change shit just to be very current year. And it's going to age like milk, okay? It doesn't matter. Is, is Bambi's mom gay now? Is that what we're doing? I don't know what they're saying they're doing. Disney announced the live-action Bambi remake in 2020, which is set to feature photorealistic CGI like The Lion King, which everybody has already forgotten about, except for Disney, which they made a lot of money off of it. And Sarah Polly is set to direct. Now, that's interesting. Uh, Sarah Polly was the little girl in Avonlea. And she's a director now. I didn't know that. I, I just found that out recently. She's a director, but she was uh, the kid from Avonlea, which was on the Disney Channel. It was Canadian, but the Disney Channel ran it. So I, th I thought that was pretty interesting. But it's in the early stages of production. So they can still take this one out back and shoot it like old Yeller. 
I think I remake Old Yeller where Old Yeller doesn't die. Maybe they'll do that. Uh, the chief critic is Piers Morgan. Let's see who, who the critics are. Piers Morgan. How dare? How dare Piers Morgan say anything? Uh, let's see who else do we have here. Uh, Tommy Laren and The Quartering. Right-wing YouTube channel The Quartering ridiculed the need for a remake and urged his viewers not to see the film in theaters. If kids could relate to a deer 80 years ago, they can probably do it now. Oh my God, they're just like name checking all the, God, the salt. You know why they're doing this, right? Oh, Ben Shapiro, we got them all in here. Ben Shapiro, uh, uh, Zegler, Rachel Zegler. Oh, now we got Hallie Bailey, all of the buzzwords, all of the search terms, all in one place, because this is about getting as many views as possible. Basically, any search term for anything related to Disney, wokeness, uh, Rachel Zegler, which is a huge search term now for traffic, and and Snow White and all that, and all of these uh, YouTubers and commentators and stuff. This is all about search traffic. I don't think this person actually believes this. I think it's just a... I think most people, if you told them, hey, we're going to do Bambi, but we're going to change the plot of Bambi and Bambi's mom's not going to die. They're going to be like, that's freaking stupid. That's stupid. You know, or it'd be like my wife where she's like, yeah, I was pretty traumatized by Bambi. So, you know, whatever. I'm glad the, I'm glad the mom lives, but I'm still not interested in seeing this movie. I want to see people dressed up in, in, in fursuits. Disney, you need to save some money. You didn't treat your your VFX workers very well. They had to unionize. They're very angry at you. Just a bunch of furries. Want a bunch of furries in the Bambi movie. Also, we need more musical numbers. Um, so look, this is kind of a, a joke. I know Squid King was talking to me about the other day that there, I guess there have been studies on the effect that Disney movies have on kids when they play pretend, like if they're uh, pretending to be a princess or something, uh, almost always they pretend that their parents are dead <laughs> you know, because so many freaking parents have died in Disney movies. You know, um, I mean, geez, Cinderella, let's see, Snow White, Tarzan, Lilo and Stitch, Frozen, Atlantis, The Sword in the Stone, Ratatouille, Bambi, Hunchback, Brother Bear. This is like the entire catalog. Brother Bear, that's like the whole freaking plot too. Finding Nemo, Fox and the Hound, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, oh yeah, the Little Mermaid prequel that nobody remembers. Aladdin, Pocahontas, Lion King, Princess and the Frog, Mulan. Oh my God, that's like half of their movies. Yeah, yeah, but Bambi is probably the most well-known Disney death. Um. <laughs> So, I mean, it could be worse. I mean, she could die of starvation. Wouldn't that be awful? If she just like freaking died of starvation? You know, it's like, please, I'm just looking for somebody to freaking shoot me because the alternative is worse. Um, I don't know, guys. I just think it's, I just thought this was funny and I didn't want to drag Geeky into this one, but um, conservatives, conservatives are to blame for the backlash <laughs> against Bambi's mom getting killed in the shitty Disney movie unnecessary Disney remake. And I hope to God, I hope Snow White bombs. Yeah, it has nothing to do with, I mean, Rachel Ziegler is an unlikable cow and they spin up like, well, it's because she's Hispanic. It's like, no, she's she's absolutely unlikable. She is, I mean, she's playing a character called Snow White, right? But still, beyond that, beyond that, she's unlikable. At least Halle Bailey liked Ariel. She was a fan of Ariel. And regardless of what you think of the, uh, the race swap, you know, she was always respectful of the character and she really truly loved the character Rachel Zegler has shown nothing but disdain for the original Walt Disney it's so bad that the son of the director of Snow White and Seven Dwarfs said his father and Walt Disney would be spinning in their graves together if they saw what this company was doing to, to his his films okay and here's another one down Bambi this is another movie that meant a lot to Walt Disney uh, it was groundbreaking when it came out, and this is another one that they're just going to destroy. That's what people are pissed about. It doesn't, it's not about wokeness, it's just stupidity. It's a stupid decision. And uh, I hope to God that Snow White bombs, back to my point, I hope that Snow White bombs to send a message that people don't want to see these movies, and maybe Disney will get it through their thick skulls and cancel 
shit like Bambi that just changes everything. Like, just make another movie. Make another movie. There aren't enough deer movie out movies out there. What do we got? We got we got Bambi and we got Rudolph. And that's that's about it, right? Am I missing any? I'm probably missing some. Somebody's gonna jump in the comments and be like, you missed this classic deer movie, Deer Mageddon or whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. Just make another fucking movie or don't make any more movies, Disney, because you don't know how. You don't know how to make movies anymore. Just stop. Just stop. It's over. I'm gonna wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.